I actually bought this camera for a little three inch whoop, but it hasn't come yet, so I just stuck it on the Mavic. And it just so happened to have a GoPro mount that came with it too. So you're looking at the Blanchett Bridge. It goes from St. Louis into St. Charles, Missouri, over the Missouri River. This is not a comparison between the two cameras, but just to be fair, the Mavic Air 2 is in auto, with the exposure locked on 1080p. It's 30 frames a second. Insta360 GO camera records in 2K, but it uses a lot of that resolution to stabilize the footage in the software, and the output is actually 1080p. The 360 GO camera has a FPV mode where it records for five minutes. So you just hit record and take off and you get five minutes and you get what you get. You can't control anything while it's in the air. The camera's much better on small FPV drones that are flying close to stuff and low to the ground. It's not so great for, you know, 150, 200 feet in the air, but this is what you got. I think it was originally designed for like vlogging and taking little 15 to 30 second clips of your day, like while you're on vacation. But the FPV guys discovered it and somebody talked them into putting a five minute mode on it and it'll work as long as there's air blowing on it because it does get hot. And it works great for that because a lot of those drones only have about five minute flight time anyway. The trail to the bridge is about a mile and a half straight paved trail. It's a pretty long walk. That's why I bought myself an electric bicycle or get yourself an electric scooter. I even bought a one wheel, but that didn't work out too good. But these electric vehicles are great for drone guys because you can get up the trail, get your shot, get away from people. And I mean, I would not want to walk this trail. bought one of the cheaper electric bikes on Amazon. It goes about 20 miles an hour. It'll go about 20 miles on a charge, but I only go about a mile or two here and there. So it works out great. I'm not a mountain biker. I usually go on paved trails or gravel trails. And so, I mean, I can't stress it enough. If you're a drone guy and you want to get away from people, an electric bike cycle is inconspicuous more than any other electric vehicle and it'll get you there. Mm -hmm.